Good morning, everyone, and I hope that you are enjoying your Sunday once more. We are always glad to be here with you. We are always glad to be sharing the message with you. Um, do always send us your comments, share our content, and make sure that you like and tell your friends about our page. We try to speak the word of God as he intends it to be spoken, and we hope that we have been impacting your lives um, since you started following us. So today we are going to be reading from the book of Colossians 3 verses 23 to 24. Let us read it together. And whatever you do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not to man, knowing that from the Lord you will receive the reward of the inheritance, for you serve the Lord Christ. Now let us have a short prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the lives that we continue to bless every day with your word as you intend it to be, Father. May you, Father, guide us today as we speak your gospel. May you, Father, um, to everyone who's listening to your word today, may they understand that you are always with us. You are always watching over us. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Now, here's a question that I have for you. Have you ever been in a situation where you felt that you can do something because nobody was watching? You know, as a child, you would always, you know, steal sugar when the parents are not around. Or you will take things that the parents have not allowed you to take. More especially when parents were not around, you were always doing things knowing that no one is seeing you. But you were a child, you didn't know better. But now as you get older, you continue with the same habits that you used to do before. You are thinking nobody's looking at me, right? We, we know of people who are doing shady deals at night. You know, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the morning, you see lights there and there people are meeting, they're exchanging information. By the, when the day starts tomorrow and a board meeting starts, the, the, whatever job or whatever thing that is being decided on that table, people have already decided on it overnight. These are unethical things. These are things that people do behind closed doors thinking that nobody is seeing them. So today, as we speak, I want to remind you that God is always seeing what we do. There's always someone who's watching what you do. Now, as we start our conversation today, I want us to remember that someone is always watching. Now, the first person that you need to watch out for is always God, because God is omniscient and God is omnipresent. He's always there. He sees everything. So in everything that you do, you need to know that he's always watching. There's nothing that you can do in secret. You know, people say that when you want to judge someone's character or if you want to know if you have the right character um, of God, look at what you do when you are behind closed doors, when no one is watching, when everyone is gone, when you are left alone at home. What is it that you think about doing? What is the first thing that comes to your mind every time when you are left alone? Because those things are things that speak to your real character. What we see all the time when we are with you, you know, being praiseful, you know, always be smiling with other people, doing the right things. When you are in church, you look presentable and you are always right. Truth is, when you are alone, that is when your real character is tested. And you always feel that you are alone and nobody is seeing you. But we are saying today that do remember that God sees everything. God is present wherever you are. I remember growing up as a child, I always used to have this feeling and I didn't know where that was coming from. And I think it guided me um, to becoming the man that I am today. I always kind of felt that there was someone with a camera behind me. And every time when I was alone, I would make some acts by myself, you know, um, uh, you know, acting a certain way, sitting a certain way, talking a certain way, even when I was by myself, because I always felt that someone was recording my life. And I will tell my friends that, you know, one day I believe that my movie will be played out for everyone to see. I don't know where that was coming from, but I think it was the voice of God saying that I'm watching over you. Be careful, don't touch that thing because I'm watching. Be careful, don't say that thing because I'm watching. Be careful, don't do that thing because I'm watching all the time. And I think I was very fortunate, but a lot of people don't see this. A lot of people feel free. A lot of people feel so alone when they are alone, but you are never alone. God is always present. 
And that, if that can't guide you, then it will be a problem for you to control yourself. It will be a problem for you to build the right character um, going forward. There are so many people who do a lot of things behind closed doors. You know, you work with someone, you see them every day. They look good, they speak well, and they smell well. But the things that they do behind the scenes are horrible. But something that can be assured is this. At one point, we don't need to ask you, we don't need to investigate you. At one point, all of those things will be revealed. Because remember, Mojanari, Sikukuni, Sebono, That basically means that whatever you do in secret, there's someone who's watching. We need to remember that at all times. And when we look at Psalms 139, verse 7 to 8, it reads, where can I go from your spirit or where can I flee from your presence? If I ascend into heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, you are there. God is always there, friends. Remember, whatever you do in secret, God is there with you watching. Now, the second thing is that people are always watching. People are always watching. You know, I do a lot of content on Facebook and even my business pages, they are on Facebook. And you know, you'll be, sh you'll be shocked to know that there are so many people who are actually looking at your content. But th these are people who don't comment on your content. These are people who don't like your content. These are people who don't share your content. But it does not mean that people are not watching. People are watching. So whatever you write, whatever you post, whatever you share, just know that there are people who are watching. And God is in people. So when they are watching, you know that God is watching. You know, sometimes, uh, you, you, you know, we get a call from the office and um, you know, a company calls and says, uh, is, this, is this Mr. Ratsosa? Yes, uh, this is Mr. Ratsosa's office. Um, can you guys help us with this? Um, you, you know, we, we want to do training for all of our employees. Is it something that you do? You say, yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. That's, that is something that you do. And then when we meet with them, we ask them, where, where did you hear from us? Is it from a friend or something? They say, no, 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 no. We've been following you on Facebook for the past five years. You've been following us for the past five years. They say, yeah, we've been following you for the past five years. We really like your content. You know, at, at some other point, um, somebody tells you that, um, you, know, you know, there's an article that you wrote. And after reading that article, it totally changed my life. I was thinking of getting a divorce. I was thinking of doing this. And after reading that article or after seeing that video, that totally changed my life. But this is a person that you have, you have never seen liking your post, that you have never seen sharing your post or commenting on your post, right? People are always watching. So you need to be careful, um, you know, how, how you portray yourself, you know, in private, in your own room, when you are on social media, um, doing all sorts of things. Now, when we read Proverbs 15, verse 3, it says, The eyes of the Lord are in every place, keeping watch on the evil and the good. The eyes of the Lord are everywhere. God is using people to see. God is using uh, even animals to see. God is using the grass to see. God is using the air to see. God sees everything. So we need to be careful. I know that um, a lot of us um, Christians nowadays, we are so free. Um, you know, we want to say out our thoughts and our minds and we go on social media. We, we, we you know, we text things that might, um, you know, um, come back tomorrow to, to haunt us, right? We need to be careful what we do when we are by ourselves because people are watching. Sometimes I give an example and I say, you know that those people that you influence, that those families that highly depend on your content. And every day when they see your content, they feel new life. So, you, you know, don't look at who is commenting on your content and saying, well, I don't have a lot of followers. Only three people liked, only two people commented. It doesn't matter. Just know that people are looking at your content and that those people whom you are changing their lives, that those people whom you are influencing to go and influence others, Always make sure that you are positive in whatever content um, you put out there. So now the question would be, what should we do? 
because we find ourselves in this situation where we have, um, you know, a God um, who has eyes everywhere, where we have people who are watching over us, right? What is it that we need to be doing? First thing, we need to work heartily. We need to work heartily. If you look at our book for today, Colossians um, 3 verse 23, uh, it says that whatever you do, work heartily. The Bible says that as for the Lord and not for man, knowing that from the Lord you will receive the inheritance as your reward. That is what the Bible says. It says whatever you do, do it heartily with all of your heart, with a lot of love, with a lot of integrity, knowing that the Lord your God is watching over you and the rewards will be coming from him. Don't care what men think. When you put up a post and encourage people to live their lives well, don't care what men says. If they say, we don't like your content, you, you know, you don't speak good English, you don't speak good Swana, it doesn't matter. As long as you do it heartily, as long as we, you do it with a lot of in, integrity, your rewards, your inheritance will be coming from your Lord um, God. And then the second thing, you need to do it for the Lord. Don't do it for anybody else. Do it for the Lord because he's the one who put you here to live with everyone. He's the one who put you here to have an impact the way that he knows that only you can have an impact. Maybe your impact is not the type of impact that is going to, you know, pull millions and billions of crowds. Maybe your impact is for two people. Maybe your impact is for five people. But believe me, friend, that that is enough. That is exactly what God wants. If it means that you are going to speak good words to two people every day, if it means that you are going to behave well so that your niece or your nephew can see the goodness of God in you, those two people, if they can see you doing things that, are, that have high integrity, that have love, that have God in them, Believe that that is exactly what God wants you to do. If God wants you to impact millions of people, God will make you impact millions of people. But your target should never be to impact millions of people. Your target should be to do the right things on a daily basis such that whoever is looking at you can be encouraged, such that whoever is looking at you, you know, can see the goodness of God. We are raising children and every day our children are looking at us. We keep on telling them, son, daughter, behave this way. This is what you need to do. But what they really need from you is to see you doing exactly what you've been telling them to do. You can't tell your children to be loving when you are not loving. They have never seen love from you. They have never seen you um, kissing their mother or telling their mother that you love them. Or even when you say it, but you are not showing it. Behind closed doors, there are so many people who are abusive. You abuse your spouse. You abuse your children. When you go out there, you become a good Samaritan. You smile to the crowds. You say good things. You say wonderful things. But indoors, you are a bad person. And God is saying today, the message that I've been asked to share with you, God is saying that he's seeing you. He's watching every day. And those people that live with you on a daily basis, those people are watching. You don't know how they're going to be spreading the word tomorrow. How they're going to be telling other people about your conduct, which might just come to destroy your reputation. We need to be very, very careful, friends, how we behave when we are in closed doors. Now, as we conclude, I want you to be reminded that wherever you are, I don't know what you are going through. I don't know what is happening in your life. All I know is that God is watching you. And whatever good that you continue to do and nobody is seeing it, just know that your rewards are coming. Your inheritance from the Lord is coming. Do not, and I repeat, do not do anything for man. For you will never be able to satisfy man. Men will always require things that you were not born to do. And they will drive you away from the things that God has designed you to do. Work harder to impress God. When you are alone, when you are in that mountain, when you stay at a kettle post and you are left the whole month by yourself, it is the things that you do every day when you are alone 
that God is going to reward you on. If you are planting a bad seed, you are going to reap a bad plant. But if you are planting a good seed, you know that you are going to reap a good plant. I want you to be reminded, friends, God is with us all the time. Don't give up. Don't feel like he doesn't see you. Don't feel like he doesn't love you because all the time, every day, wherever you are, God is with you. Amen. I hope that today you have enjoyed um, this message from God. I hope that you have received it well. And I hope that if you wish to change, God will help you to make the right changes in your life, to fight the evil that has been controlling you, the evil that has been you know, disturbing you from reaching the goals um, that God has designed for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Father, for today's word. We thank you so much, Father, for your love. We thank you so much, Father, for your encouragement. We thank you so much, Father, for the wisdom that you continue to provide us with. Father, may you bless all the souls that have heard this message today. May you help them in their individual corners, Father, to change the things that they used to do in private thinking that no one was seeing. For them to know that, Father, you are always there. Your eyes are everywhere. You use people. You use anything. You use air to see everything that we do in private. And that when you do the right things, will always receive your rewards. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. And thank you so much, friends, for being with us this Sunday. We like for you to send us your comments. Do send those comments. We share content every Sunday. Remember to support the course by buying any one of our books principles of wealth creation spend you worried about you need to be worried more of how are you going to help God's children now this book is going only 450 pula and then we also have the financial journal um, 100 extracts of financial content and different live content. We'll never be the same. It's going for only 300 pula. So if you want to place an order, the details are on the screen below. Just make sure that you hit that number either by, by text um, or call and then Ertako deliver la like anywhere within Khaburono we deliver within 24 hours but we can courier for you you should be able to receive it within within uh, 24 hours still um, and then um, I think that should be within seven days um, if you are nearer it can be much much earlier but if you are far within seven days that is what we promise thank you so much for being with us until we meet again Stay blessed.